just get it, dude. Oh, he's a huge. He's 400 pounds. What is going on, guys? Chris back with another video. Hey, you wanted more Goliath grouper videos. You wanted me to catch a bigger Goliath grouper. So that's what we're out here to do today. Target those two 300 pounders. I know you saw in my last video, we got an 80 pounder, maybe a 100 pounder, somewhere in that range, anywhere from 80 to 120 pounds. They're a great fight, great little warm up for the Goliath action this year. But hey, today's gonna be a great day. And I'll tell you what, it's an even better day because today, I officially hit 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Thank you everyone that has subscribed to the page. And uh, it's been a great journey uh, throughout the years. You know, I know I've slacked here and there, a couple months, you know, no videos, gone really hard at some times, but hey, make sure you follow me on all my other social medias, TikTok, Instagram. You'll see uh, content that's real time. That's a little bit better way to get in touch with me and Josh, of course. All the links will be in the description box below. Nonetheless, let's get to today's video. So, Josh has already got the boat nice and bloody. Yo! Got some macro, some Goliath baits. That's right. So, right now, the goal is to catch some mackerel. We already loaded the live well with some baits. I mean, got a fair amount. We didn't get any pilchards, but today we're really only worried about getting some mackerel and some Goliaths. So, we went ahead and grabbed a bunch of thread fins. Hopefully, a uh, majority of them stay alive. But we're going to go ahead and get our macro rig rigged up. First things first, for our macro, what we're going to need is a good old uh, long shank hook. So as you can see, you got my little hook box. That is your long shank hook. If you've never seen us use this, used them in a bunch of videos, done a bunch of macro tutorials, please go check those out. Here I'm running with a 25-pound soft steel leader. This is a floor stretch, so... It does tend to have a little more elasticity compared to your 100% fluorocarbons. Just like that, we're ready to go. The long shake hook keeps those mackerel off your leader. As you can see, you got a lot more hook to work with. Gonna go and hook this thread fin right through the nose. Toss them out there, the tide's going out, so I'm just gonna let them drift back with the tide. Go ahead and loosen my drag to really loose so when that mackerel hits number one he doesn't break off and the hook gets in him gets a nice little hook set so i'm gonna go ahead and let rodney do the work on that one best way to fish for mackerel right there while we wait on the mackerel i don't know if you guys can see that but uh 9996 so four away so i should definitely hit that today thank you for everyone that has supported the page missed my first bite absolutely destroyed that thread fin like josh just said they're not feeding super heavy right now oh he's on it he's on it he's oh, on God. it again oh there he is i thought i seen him on there no. oh <laughs> chris is missing him boy Hashtag winning. Gosh, hooked up. Our Goliath bait number two. Goliath bait number two. Wow, these are big mackerel, Chris. There you go. Nice one. Toss mine out there again. Yummy. Right oh. 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 oh, 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 Rodney. Rodney doing the work. Rodney! Come on, get it, Rodney! Yeah! Hey, he's a good one. Perfect size. This is a prime example, ladies and gentlemen, as to why you use the long shank hook look at that that hook is just barely out of his mouth another half inch he would have cut my leader number three in the bucket put those on ice so they stay nice and fresh here in a second cast them back out there 
Again, let Rodney do the work. I'm gonna put these other mackerel on ice. This is all. There we go. Four. There he is. Yeah, a good one. Uh oh. Came off at the boat. He did. Took my hook. But we got him in the boat. So that's all that matters. You know what? I'll even get my hook bag. I see it in his mouth. Oh, it just came out. Shot out of his mouth. Right there. I hooked up with macro number five. Might be time to go uh, Goliath hunting. There it is. He did the same thing to Josh that my macro did to me. He took his hook. Uh -huh. When they start flopping around on the bow like that, they get that leader. It only takes one little nick and those teeth. Those teeth are deadly. Check yeah, those razor sharp boy. Check those chompers out. Let me tell you guys something. Before you go Goliath fishing, you gotta get your energy. Got some agua, got a public stuff, because it's about to be hammer time. Hopefully they don't pull me off the boat. If we get the one that we're looking for, I very well could. Alright, we just got to our spot. It's Goliath time. Ooh, that looks like a juicy bait. Yeah, we'll go with that one. He looks good. Oh, right, right like this. Josh is gonna hook him right through the eyeballs. Just oh, like that. close to the eyeball. Right through the top of that hard part of the head. We're gonna put this down for Christopher. That's right. Take this out. We're free line of base now, boy. Look at this. Come on, Mr. Goliath. Gag grouper fishing, actually. That's the much I want to know. Secret. He's on, I think. Chris. Oh, he came off. Oh, there he goes. Oh! Titan, Titan. Oh. He's a baby. Pull, pull, pull. You got him. Yeah, you caught. That's... Tighten down. I spoke too soon. Yeah. Chris is getting him. Chris is working. Chris is getting him. Oh, I think we're about to see color areas. Oh, that's a stingray! Holy cow, that's the world's biggest stingray! Is that a glide there, stingray? <laughs> Dude, I got a pounding headache. That's not the one, that Chris. That's not what we were looking for. Dang, he's huge, bro. Still a pretty cool catch. Oh, that is a cool catch. Massive fish. Guess I'll help Christopher out. There you go. He had you in structure too. Well, he had that bait for a while. Josh is gonna give it a whack. Go! Go! Always oh, in the stuff. Oh, he came off. All right, guys, so the Stingray, first fish. Not what we were looking for. Definitely good warm up for me. Gets my, my blood pumping, muscles working. Uh, Josh just missed a Goliath, or what we believe to be a Goliath. I was, I was back here chopping up some baits, as you can see on our toadfish board, and that Goliath bit right when I was sat down to start chopping. Josh picked up the rod, decided to go in on him, see if he could uh, have a little bit of fun. So I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna actually chum just a little bit and then go sit by that rod and uh, yeah, man it. So I'm, I'm right there. The reason Josh definitely missed that one is because, yeah, he just gave him too much in the initial beginning, uh, trying to get his GoPro on. That's the problem with filming, trying to do this as well. If your cameras are off, 
and you're trying to turn it on, that fish has all the time in the world to get into the structure. So let's go man the Makaira, see if we can get one in the boat. Drag down, lock ground. Oh, that drag down. <laughs> it's, dragging down bro. Yeah, it's a big one, it's a big one. Is it locked down? <laughs> no way! Drag was down. You laid that rod down? He's like, okay, I'll eat it now. Guys, I've been holding this rod for 15 minutes, waiting on him to bite. As soon as I put in the rod holder, he bit. Dude, one more little pink. We are getting worked right now. We are determined to pull one of these glides to the surface. Unfortunately, one of the rods and reels that we have just isn't quite big enough for some of these bigger fish. So we're gonna have to up it. And uh, that's all I can say, man. That, that drag was fully locked down. It actually had one more little click in it, which, you know, when you're fighting a fish like that, you can't really, you know, feel. But it felt like it was all the way locked down. And uh, yeah, he was taking drag like it was pretty much nothing, so. Pull that, that, that hook. All right, so here it is, guys. Hey, this is a longer leader too, so. This is this is a custom-made rod. Josh got this rod at Dogfish a couple years ago, specifically for Goliath. I mean, it's an absolute meat stick. He's hooking up the mackerel now. He's going down. Watch it, he'll, he'll hit right now. Oh, you nope, he came off, came off. Get ready, he's gonna hit it again. Well, I'm not here, so like, he's on, Chris. Hang on, baby, Chris on, I gotta clay back, bye. Push it down. Push it down. Pull, pull, pull. Go, go, go. We need this fish. Go, go, go. go. Oh, it's down. Oh. Oh. Are you sure it's down? Yes. It is all the oh, way We need a bigger reel. <laughs> Real. Ooh. Oh, he's in the rock. Oh, man. Oh, he's big. We need another reel. Hey, you're like, it's all the way down, yeah. Where's the, the gloves? In my bag right there. Here? Right there. Is he out? Oh, he's in the snow. He thought. Real. 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 There he is. Oh, oh. Hey. Holy! Oh. <laughs> Chris! You're ours! Yay, dude! Pump! Oh. <laughs> Chris is getting me! Oh, he's so huge! He's 400 pounds! Uh. He's right here, he's right here. I need, oh, you're up to this, careful. Breathe, bro. I don't know where the gloves are. They might be in my tackle bag, Josh. I don't know. Oh. Put them in there. Oh, man. I can't breathe. That's a monster, dude. Here, hold this, hold it. That's a monster, bro. <laughs> Guys, it took me 
and Josh was all we had. Hold him, hold him. Brother. <laughs> you got him, no? All right, let's watch that trolling motor. Matter of fact, I'm gonna push his forward and troll him from the back. Oh. I'll get him off the reef. Oh, shit. Oh. No! Come on, man! Oh, he straightened the freaking hook. picture so bad. It's going to take you to shore to get it. Guys. Ah, Chris got him. That's all that matters. We got him. It's technically a catch. We, we got we him. We did get him. Guys, I ain't going to lie to you. I was not going to get that fish without help. The rod and reel just wasn't big enough, and that's that's the facts. That, I don't know what else to tell you, man. It, that was a beast of a fish. Dude, and that's who keeps eating all of our snapper. That's who keeps eating the snapper. Oh, man, dude. So we were setting up to get some pictures, guys, and um, try to get some pictures, get a better view of the fish. I hope you got to see how true of a beast that was. That was a 350, 400 pound Goliath grouper no doubt about it i mean that guy would eat meat check this hook out right here now you guys know we're avid users of gamagatsu hooks we were coming out here uh on short notice type deal we didn't have the correct gamagatsus so josh just quickly grabbed the the biggest ones that he could find and uh he straightened it out what an epic trip guys thanks for watching the entire video hey stay tuned one second let me get your attention. So we did drop a couple baits there at the end, uh, right after we caught that four, 350 to 400 pound Goliath. That's what we estimate. Hey, what do you think it was? I swear, I promise the GoPro footage does not do it justice. I'm not sure what you guys all got to see with that total chaos, uh, with the camera being on my chest. It's very challenging uh, to film, hold a massive reel to say the least but we did drop those baits down again and uh we just didn't get another bite the tide started to come in pretty hard so the fish shut down but we did go out there with a mission we accomplished it i'm not gonna lie didn't feel the best today for some odd reason my allergies were really bothering me and uh, i had a pounding headache and every time i would battle with a fish my headache would just throb i'm telling you i'm telling you if you have allergies you know um, I had a sinus headache right here. My, anyways, doesn't matter, but I, I promise I, I felt like I was going to pass out there after that, that battle. Unfortunately, we didn't get a good picture with the fish. Um, you guys saw that. What a tragic incident. Uh, I really wanted a picture with that fish. I'm not going to lie. That's probably my biggest fish to date. I mean, that's an absolute monster Goliath. I had an epic day, epic day. Hey, anyways not to hold you guys too long thanks for 10,000 subscribers it's been a long journey if you're just now joining the channel make sure you smash that like button it really helps a brother out subscribe if you haven't already so we can hopefully hit another milestone 15,000 20,000 subscribers in the very near future hey if you want to book a fishing charter make sure you contact me my links in the description box below are all my links contact information the best way you can reach me is by far email instagram or my phone numbers down there as well so feel free to hit me up for a fishing charter been super busy really hot out there the snapper bite's been good hey until next time guys peace